Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back. I want to do this quick video just to go over two functionalities that Taskade recently released. They're very simple, very straightforward, but I do find them quite useful. So I want to cover them in this video. So if we go over to Taskade's website, we can read about the product updates. Uh, basically, they release a new article every time they update the tool. And the latest one is of April 29th of this year. And here in this article, which I will pin in the description down below, you can read about the new functionality that's included in the latest update. Obviously, a lot of the new functionality relates to the AI agents, but I'm always happy to see what other non-AI uh, capabilities they're adding into the tool. Um, so yeah, let's jump over to task and I'll show you two of the ones that I want to discuss. Now, the first functionality that I want to review is the ability to chat with an AI agent and ask it questions about specific media that we upload in a specific folder. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go here into my blog folder. I'm going to head over into the media tab and I'm going to add from my computer a new PDF, right? I'm adding this top 25 jobs uh, work PDF, which really is just a blog article discussing the top 25 jobs for work-life balance. You can see it's got substitute teacher as the number one, marketing assistant, research technician, etc. So I'm going to exit out of here. And I see now that I have here a new option or new button called Ask AI specifically for the media document that I uploaded. I'm going to click here on Ask AI. And it's going to open up a little chat window. And I already have here a few prompts or suggestions that I can uh, interact with the AI with. So I can have it summarize the key points of the articles. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to send it. And the AI comes back with a response. To stop that for now and to show you just how accurate it is and i'm just gonna tell it top 10 jobs i'm not gonna give it more context as it should already know based on the document what i want to um, basically recover or pull out from the document in this case i'm interested only on the top 10 even though there are 25 jobs listed in that specific pdf and as you see, it came back with substitute teacher, marketing assistant, exactly in the order that they appear in the document. Um, so yeah, this as a student, or maybe even if you are, are uploading a lot of media for your work or your projects, um, this can be very useful, especially if you have long documents and you're kind of looking for a summary or key points on each one of those without having to open them or even read the whole thing, then this can be quite useful. I just wish... Um, Instead of interacting with a specific or a single document, if you could select a couple or even just have a general AI window of all your media and ask it questions and have it use all your documents as sources to reply to you, that would be even better. Now, this functionality is very similar to the Google Notebook LM. I made a video on that. That's a, a product that Google is working on where it basically does this. It, you kind of upload documents and sources to um, a specific tool, and then you use AI to interact um, with those. Very useful for students or researchers um, that they're working with a lot of um, referential documents, and they just need a little AI assistant to kind of help them dig through them um, or go through them. But yeah. A very useful functionality if you are someone that's working with media inside of Taskade. The next functionality that I want to review is the creation of custom fields. So I'm going to go back here into my projects tab. I'm going to go inside the blog article ideas. Then I'm going to head over to the table view here at the top. As you can see, this gives me basically the same um, checklist that I had on the list view now in a table format with other columns or properties that I can select for each of these um, to-do list items. Uh, if I scroll here to the right, I see that I have a plus icon. If I select it, I see that I already have some presets or new fields that I'm able to work with. So I have status, priority, type of task, and department. 
if I select priority, I see that I'm going to get a drop down and I have critical, high, normal, low, or none. And I can also edit this field. So if I want to change the colors of each one, make critical um, red, high, yellow, I can save it, have those show up now in the priority field. Or if I go back to the plus icon, I can actually do a single select and create my own type of field. I'm gonna here, I'm gonna add here single select. And I don't know, we already have status, priority. I need to create a new field. Let's call it niche, right? We are talking about blog articles. And let's say I, I talk about different niches in my website. And let's have this be the health niche. And this will be work. And I don't know, personal. Right. I'm going to go ahead and save, click on save. And as you can see, I've now created a new field and I have the appropriate um, selections with the color for each one that I can work with. If I, go, if I go back to my list view, and this is something that I very like as I don't use the um, table view that much, I can actually use those new fields also here in the list view. So I have status, priority, and the niche field that I just created. If I want to, I can even create a new field just like I did from this list view as well. The only one that you cannot use in the list view is actually the number type field. I'm going to go back here to my table view. I'm going to create a new field, but instead of being a single select or a drop down field, I'm going to do a number field. I'm going to call these prox time meaning just how much time it's going to take me to write that specific article. The format can be in a number. It can be a currency if you're working with money or a specific unit like a percent. In this case, I want numbers. Actually, I can be more specific and say these are hours. I'm going to click on Save. And now I have a field where I can input a specific number and I know that I'm talking about approximate hours that it will take to complete each of these articles. So that is it really for this video. Those are the two functionalities that I wanted to review and discuss. Um, again, not the usual longer video with examples, but I find it useful to you know keep us all in the loop about what's being released um, for Taskate. Let me know if you like these type of videos or if you want to see anything else uh, on a specific functionality in the comments down, down below or anything that I can improve, all the feedback is always welcome. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.